Hi guys, it's Mrs. Michael, and we decided to do a thing to get you guys excited and something fun and different for our social distancing and our extended learning. We decided to launch a transcontinental balloon. Um, so for those of you who have been with us and done it before, we normally use helium because it is just two adults today. We're watching proper social distancing and things like that, we decided to use hydrogen. The reason why we don't use hydrogen when we work with students is because it's considerably more flammable and a little bit more dangerous and we don't want that with our students. But we are trained, we do know what we're doing and so we decided to use a, a hydrogen balloon. One of the benefits of hydrogen is that it will go a little bit higher and it should last longer so our goal is really to cross the United States and ideally make it into Europe. So I am going to, you can actually see my partner Tom behind me, just hanging out, getting ready to go. There's the balloon. I'm gonna flip it around. Uh, no, I'm not. Maybe I can't flip it around. There we go. Okay, ready whenever you are. Ready. ready. He's got the transmitter on him waiting for the winds to die just a little bit. We're on the top of a parking garage to keep most of the lines away. There it goes. So you can see that it's pretty skinny right now. Um, and that's for those of you who've never done it with us before, we intentionally don't fill it up very much. We have a mathematical system to set it up. But when we fill it up, we set it so that as a balloon goes higher, it fills up, it inflates more so that he reaches neutral buoyancy at about 35,000 feet or so, which is in the jet stream. So it's going slow, but it is going. If you want to track it, uh, you go onto APRS.FI. It's just a Google Maps. But there we go. You can see the balloon behind me. Um, go to APRS.FI. And then it'll say track call sign, where it says track call sign. Do KM6BWB-7. So again, APRS with the uh, sorry, APRS.FI with the call sign KM6BWB-7. And let's track this thing across the country. Um, for those, Again, for those of you who've never done this before, it has a solar panel on board. So we say that it goes to sleep at night once the sun goes down. So depending on where it is and where you are, it may not send out any packets of information, um, especially at night or if it's crossed into another time zone, but check it in the morning and hopefully it will send itself out. Can you still see it? It's right there. This is so fun. Okay, and just for those of you who are concerned, I have not moved. Tom is over there. This is the closest we have been. We are being very, very safe. So hope you guys are all being safe as well. Wash your hands and we will talk to you later. Bye.